Hi everyone, my name is Gabriel Souza, and now I will present a paper in the Digital Forensic Research Workshop USA. Uh, the article is entitled Using Microsessing Artificial Intelligence to Analyze Images in Clinical Evidence. So uh, this work has the support of the Instituto Metropolitano Digital, Universidade Federal do Rio Grande do Norte. Ministério Público do Estado do Rio Grande do Norte and the Smart Metropolis Project. So let's start. Uh, in the following slides, I will describe the problem that was solved and the, ch the challenges faced and the system's objectives. So uh, before introducing the development system, we need to understand how does a criminal investigation work. First of all, the investigative institution received a report about criminal scams. Uh, that is, it all starts with a complaint. After this, the institution begins an initial investigation to confirm some concrete evidence of the crime. Uh, when there is a strong evidence that confirms the complaint, the institution calls the post to realize operations confiscated from the accused media such. Uh, such as smartphones, laptop, tablets, and all the relevant tests to the investigation. So from this device, the institution starts a, a process of evidence analysis. The, the analysis, the analyst uses a, a forensic tool that, that extracts the all the code and uh, that extracts the extracted and the code all data from this device generate a compressed, a compressed file with the, all the data valid in the mix. Um, from this file, the analyst investigate all data to find image, text, messages, emails, videos, or all the data that can prove the commission of a crime. So uh, after getting to get enough evidence to recriminate or exonerate the accused, the analyst prepare a reporting, narrating, narrating our investigative events, uh, and this report is forwarded to the judgment, to the relation of judicial proceedings. Um, so it is important to be clear that, uh, that the proposed decision aims to improve the evidence analysis process, and we aim to improve the speed and improve and speed up the process of extracting, view, and analyzing criminal investigate criminal evidence data. So uh, in this image, uh, we can see how the getting the evidence process works. Right? So false offs go to the homes of the accused and with a court order and collective device and documents that, that may contain relevant information for the investigation, as we can see in the central image. So uh, the post will collect any document or device that can possible uh, that can possible search for clues that incriminate the suspect. That is, any component contain images, uh, audios, videos, personal information, or where data is relevant. Uh, so, uh, in the current extraction and analysis process, the entire process of extracting and viewing device data is made in a forest tool. So, this tool invades a device and, and decoding and, and extract all data and generate a compressed file. Thus, um, the analyst pop this file to your local machine and through, through the forex tool, uh, he can access the extracted data and start the investigation process. Uh, the big problem of this process is that the, uh, the software to view this file requires many resources from the machine. So the file is loading memory and some more data, the evidence contains more resources are required. Thus, uh, based on the advancement of device storage capacity, capacity uh, this test is becoming um, unfeasible. Um, another important point is that if five analysts are involved in, in the evidence analysis, each one should copy the same file to your local machine. And uh, each of these machines uh, must have enough resource to load the advanced extraction. 
So um, to create more efficient system for for the for the evidence analysis, we need to keep in mind the uh, that a uh, 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 device contains a large amount of data, and, and our investigation may have many involved people into one with many devices. So we can conclude that this problem is a big data problem. Another observation is that the analysts uh, usually have access to the evidence just a few days before the judgment. So it is clear that it is, is necessary to develop solution that can prove this important step. Therefore, to resolve the, the, the problem in the evidence analysis step, we propose a big data platform named Insight Platform. Uh, with this platform, uh, we process our data in the file provided by the Forensic Key tool and offers artificial intelligence solution to speed up the, the data analysis. Um, the system was developed in, in a Microsoft architecture that provides more flexibility in, uh, to the solution. Thus, thus, we can separate the various services and, and manage them individually without this disrupting the rest of the platform. Okay, uh, in the in the following slide, I, I am present the proposed architecture. So, how can we observe the system is based on a lambda architecture that consists of a, a data processing architecture designed to handle massive quantities of data by taking advantage of batch, batch process and stream processing method. So we have an important model that uh, introduces all data in the system. Uh, a speed, speed layer used to process the data in a distributed and parallel way. Uh, a classification model that provides many intelligent solution to image detection and classification. And a seven layer with mechanisms for data storage and visualization. Thus, we initially introduced the important model. Um, the, the important model is responsible for extracting and pre processing evidence data. Uh, in this image, we can see the test realized by the model. And initially, the model received the evidence composed by a compressed file containing an XML file. and uh, with all information extracted from the device and a directory with all files such as images, videos, audios, and notes. So uh, the important model we transform it and, and read this data and return the relationship between files and files information to save this transformed data in a Hadoop file system and a relational database. Well, uh, next. Uh, we, we will we'll talk here about the speed layer. Uh, so the speed layer is responsible for providing first, uh, uh, for providing fast that data process. Uh, in this layer, we have an Apache uh, Spark cluster with only one master and two working nodes in which uh, the master is responsible to coordinate the entire pro data process step. Uh, and another another essential component in this layer is the Apache Kafka. Kafka is a, a message broker that is responsible for providing communication among all sets. So if a classification API needs to send some data to the important, mo important model, for example, uh, this, this communication is made through Kafka. You know? uh, so, Kafka also is used for communication between master and, and work node. Uh, the next model is the classification model. Uh, this model is responsible for classifying image from the evidence and comprises several uh, microsystems with uh, intelligence algorithms, uh, such as uh, API to object detection, Face, face recognition, uh, relevant text detection, node detection, and others. Um, so we present some developed solutions. Uh, the first solution is ammunition and uh, detection. We developed all 
own data set with 7,034 guns, images, and 2,200 ammunition images for creating this algorithm. Uh, so these images are extracted from move clips, uh, real photos in Athens, and public images. So to make this the to make the classify, we use transfer learn that enjoy the weights for a pre-trained model, uh, pre-trained model to create a new model. So uh, for the task, we use it the YOLO, and uh, these images are result obtained with the implement classify. Um, we tested this classify with a data set with 600 images, uh, 300 positives and 300 negatives. And these images, some exam examples uh, collected by this classifier. Another developed classifier was a Brazilian identification document detector. This is an important tool because uh, these documents can identify and configure relationships between suspects. So we constructed a data set with 1,200 ID cards image, and these images are extracted from evidence and public thoughts. Uh, as the ammunition and gun detection, we use a transfer uh, line in the, in the YOL to create this classifier. And 300 images are used to test this classifier. Uh, next. Another classifier is paper documents and chat short, uh, short screenshot. Uh, this classifier are interesting because both files can contain relevant information to the investigation. Uh, so to build the, this classifier, we create a data set with about uh, 13,000 documents images, uh, such as papers, uh, bank statements, or all the documents with text. Uh, to chat screenshot detector, we build the uh, data set with about uh, uh, 8,000 8, images, um, and we implement the data set with 9,495. Uh, 495 negative image. Uh, we separate off, uh, we separate a total of uh, 2,000 image for validation, and the tests are realized with uh, with the data of real evidence with uh, 8,783 image, in which 283 images are documents and H7 are shot, shot screenshot. Uh, for the specifier, we use it, the transfer learning on inception V3 and we train the model only in the final days of the network. So um, for the NUDE detector, uh, we use uh, the NUDENET, which is an open source neural network for the classification detection and censorship of nudity in, in image. Uh, the purpose of this detection is to assist in the identification of sexual abuse and pedophilia. And we test this tool with 176 nudity image. Um, for face detection, we use a Python library face recognition to extract features vector from images present in, in the evidence to identify possible no criminals in the evidence. Uh, the problem with this solution is that the search space is massive. So to avoid this problem, uh, we use the Kamin's cluster algorithm to cluster similar face and speed up the, the search. The search. Uh, this, is, this is possible because when we search a face in a database in clusters, we can discard a large part of this data set and searching in smaller sets, uh, drastically reducing the number of comparisons. So the last component is the uh, in the last component in the architecture is the seven layer. Uh, this layer is responsible for storing all data and offers mechanisms for data visualization. Uh, in our system, we developed a web interface to access our data and visualize uh, dashboard 
with relevant information about the evidence. Um, some charts inform data about the results followed in the, by the classifiers and all the details on evidence data, such as the number of image, the number of chats, emails, and all. Now, I present some results obtained in, with this platform. First, uh, we obtained promising results with the developing intelligent algorithm. Uh, out of the analysis context, it's very restricted and difficult to get the numerous data set. We managed to create classifier with a very good level of accuracy and precision. As in the table, uh, the vast majority with results above uh, seventy percent. Mm. Um, the camins enable a, a big time reduction to, to face in, in the set. We test use with a linear search and with different clustered numbers of two to uh, one hundred groups. And as we cannot see, the number of questions influence the time to find a face. Uh, we run uh, 500 rounds of tests. Uh, the, the tests were performed by searching in a database with uh, 7,602 storage face. And, and we not see that after 10 groups, the average time to search a face does not have significant improvement with more, more groups. So compared, compared uh, with the linear algorithm uh, with 10 groups, we can find a face about 10 times faster. Um, after realized testing in the speed layer, we conclude that Spark provide an, an image processing approximately three times faster than serial process. Uh, the speed layer process is close to uh, two images per second. So as evidence with uh, 30,000 30, images can have all this data analyzed in four, four hours and 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. And uh, analyst finishes analyzing the, uh, this image in several days using uh, the traditional method. Thus, we can conclude that this platform has a huge potential to speed up the investigation evidence process. Uh, lastly, we managed to build a big data platform to extract and analyze data from criminal evidence. And the proposed architecture allows that many analysts access the same evidence with, without the need to load the files in local machines. Uh, the developed intelligence algorithms offer a solution to speed up the analysis time, and the Microsoft architectures offers modularity and flexibility to the system. Uh, thus, thus uh, we can remove or, or introduce new APIs in the platform without the arm the rest of the system. So this is all. Uh, thank you very much for your attention and any question can be sent to this email.